There are one and a half million Americans living with lupus. Chances are you know someone who has it. Even if you don't, the names Selena Gomez, Nick Cannon, even Tori Braxton may sound familiar. WDBJ 7's Bianca Holman shares the story of one woman's journey to overcome this autoimmune disease. For Alicia Merchant, there are some days she wakes up later than most. Just like others, she puts two feet on the ground, but there are some days she can't. When I was 23, Everything just went left. I woke up one morning feeling exhausted and um, I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't know what it was, but I knew that something was off. It wasn't just fatigue. The extreme headache, lost my hair, the really high fevers, vomiting, um, swelling, the butterfly rash um, appeared across my face. And that rash is a key sign that she was one of more than a million Americans living with an invisible disease lupus. It's an autoimmune disease where the body goes into overdrive, attacking foreign invaders and healthy organs like the kidneys. I can actually had someone tell me once that I didn't look sick. So I think that was the hardest thing um, was um, having to stop working. There were now boundaries that I had to uh, pay attention to. Lupus impacts everyone differently, but two things are often the same. Lots of medications and lots of trips to the rheumatologist and other specialists. Kidney disease is probably the second or third commonest manifestations. You have to play well with the skin doctors because, again, that would be the commonest way of them presenting. Um, certainly the lung doctors, the hematologists, you know, you'd need to involve at least one or two other specialties in the care of the lupus patients. After a person's diagnosed, it can be difficult finding a doctor and even harder if you're not in a major city trying to manage an illness. We have four providers right now. Um, we have uh, three doctors and a nurse practitioner, all very capable. But you can imagine going from, you know, six or seven providers to four providers. And of course, the surrounding area also having a lot of retirement. New patients sometimes have to wait six months to see a doctor. Dr. Bancoli says Carillion is recruiting recent medical school grads, but it'll be a while before those doctors are ready to treat lupus patients. Though medical obstacles are hard, Merchant is now a warrior for others, creating an organization called Making Lupus Look Good. I never want any woman that I come in contact with that has lupus to go through that alone. The organization provides support for those battling the disease like herself. Even though someone may, may like make this look good or make their life look good or they may look that good that particular day, doesn't mean that they aren't fighting a battle. 90% of people diagnosed with lupus are women, most in their early 20s. Just like Alicia, I was 23 also when I was diagnosed. Lupus is a disease that many people don't know they have because it can disguise itself as something else. It can be fatal if not properly diagnosed and treated. In Roanoke, Bianca Holman, WDBJ7. Veterans are being honored.